All right, guys, welcome back. We have a 97 Saturn SL1 here. Uh, complaint is that the cooling fan does not function. Uh, it was brought to another shop who does not do electrical work. They don't do any troubleshooting or anything like that there. So what he did do to get the guy home, uh, being that the fan wasn't coming on, was he disconnected the coolant temperature sensor right here. Okay, and uh, doing that, we'll put this thing into a basically a limp mode, uh, fail safe, and it will throw the fan on. Now they had replaced this connector, and the coolant temperature sensor lives down here, uh, which was also replaced. Okay, now what I'm not sure of is anything at this point because I didn't do any tests yet. I just hooked up my scan tool. And I'm going to try to see if I can get you guys a shot of this. But it's glared, uh, a lot of glare out here, so I don't know how well we're going to do. We'll give it a shot. See if we can see the scan tool, if possible. Which is probably going to be more difficult than anything else. I'm not sure if it's going to work. So we'll try and see. Let's see where we're at. Can you see anything but my reflection? Probably not. First thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this in. I'm going to plug this cooling sensor back in and I want to see what it reads. So I'm going to get out of here. <clears throat> I'm going to move into live data. And I just want to see what my cooling sensor is reading. The other thing I noticed right off the top here, which is no good, is this hose is collapsed here. So he definitely has a good vacuum leak. Uh, it's split and collapsed, I should say. Engine coolant temperature, minus 40 degrees. That is all I'm going to show. Uh, I'm going to go into a graph. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see much either, but we're going to go through this together regardless. So I'm going to set that up. Uh, I'm going to plug this back in if I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and as you can see, hopefully you can see, my uh, my voltage jumped up, my temperature jumped up rather to 138 degrees. I'm going to try to set you guys inside here. Let's just try to watch the scanner and see if I can make it better by putting this thing down here. I don't know if that's going to help very much, but I'm going to try to get you a video some kind. Alright, now I'm going to start this thing up. I'm going to back out of here for a second and I want to see Not really much I can do here guys for uh, a better view. I'm sorry I'm doing the best I can. But right now we're at 147 degrees. Temperature is going up which is correct. My fan control is off. This is PCM controlled. I just want to show you real fast where I'm at here. I have a cooling fan wiring diagram on this uh, on this vehicle that I pulled. I'm gonna take a quick look. Alright you have a fan control relay We have a fan control relay, right? Um, you have a 30 amp fuse that's going to put power to both the coil and the uh, the control and the um, the output side, the input side of the relay. Okay, the feed side of the relay, which is going to be like pin 30. It's battery. Um, the dark green wire here on the other side of the coil is controlled through your powertrain control module. The only input it goes off of is your engine to a coolant temperature sensor. All right, like I said before, when you unplug this on these cars, it goes into a fail safe and turns the fan on because it cannot read anything that's, that makes sense. It's seeing minus 40 degrees. So it's gonna put that fan on to play safe so the engine doesn't overheat. 
So, uh, once this kicks the, once this powertrain module, if this powertrain module grounds this dark green wire, it's going to pull this contact closed. It's going to turn the fan on through the light blue wire here. It's going to turn, put power. So what we have to do is we have to see whether or not we have fan control from this PCM if it ever turns it on. Uh, I haven't looked up the service info yet, but I'm going to see if it comes if it tries to turn it on. If I see control here um, and it, I still don't have a fan, then I'm going to suspect a relay issue. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go to this relay and I'm going to verify that I have my inputs to the relay itself because I can potentially have a bad PCM, I can have a broken wire from the PCM to the uh, relay, I can have a blown fuse from here, uh, I can have a bad relay itself, okay, I can have a broken wire from the relay out to the fan. I've had a few cases of these things, com uh, complaints where the fan wasn't turning on, and it turned out that there was really nothing wrong with the car at all, it was just a matter of, um, not allowing it to get up to temperature for the fan to come on. They, you know, people don't know how these things work, and they suspect there's a problem sometimes, and there's not. The other thing could be coolant itself, the antifreeze. There's not enough in it, so you know, thermostat, something like that. I mean, there's a multitude of things that would cause it to overheat. So I want to see what we, what's going on, and then we'll make a decision from there. So I'm going to let it run a few minutes, and I'll get right back with you guys. All right, guys. So this thing's been running. And I kind of missed it the first opportunity I had here, but the fan did cycle at about 221 degrees, um, which is which is fine. This thing, this thing will, uh, these things will run up to that temperature until you know for the fan to come on. So this system works fine. What I noticed is that where the problem is coming in, or where they think there's a problem, is here. Like I suspected, the gauge on here is reading over half. However, my temperature. In reality is just fine it's in spec these things do not run at 190 degrees you know what I mean when they're sitting at idle in traffic or whatever they, they take a while to come on they run up about 220 221 degrees so there's no issue here with this car this thing runs fine uh, well the fan circuit is fine I should say it needs some other stuff but uh, this car needs hoses it needs stuff like that it's old and if you look this thing has no mileage on it Okay, that's original mileage. Uh, I have no history on this vehicle really, but I know that this thing was not driven uh, from what I was told. And you know, everything is just old and dried out and rotted. It needs hoses, it needs stuff like that. But uh, maybe the coolant temperature sensor in here was faulty. I don't know. It's very, it is possible uh, that they put one in. These things used to go bad all the time on the Saturns. And if you have a bad coolant sensor on these, you change the sensor and the pigtail every time you change the sensor. It's, there's no, they, they always go as a, uh, you always change them as a unit. Uh, you solder a new pigtail in, change the, change the uh, sensor, and uh, call it a day because you will have a problem if you don't do it that way. Um, the pigtails always fail on these things. Very, very common. The pins are extremely small. Uh, just a, you know, just a common failure. So we're at 219 degrees, and if you look at my gauge. Okay, uh, we're not dead center, so it looks like it's starting to get hot. So this is, you know, this could be cause for concern, right? But it's it's really not. It's not an issue. I'm gonna sneak my leg over here, just try to race it up a little bit to get this fan to come on again. We have good flow. Our hoses are hot. Our thermostat is functioning properly, our water pump is functioning properly, we have no issues here. 221 degrees, it should come on any second now. It may have been 222 actually, I'm not sure, but it's in this vicinity that it popped on, but I got called away, I didn't get a chance to put the camera on, there we go. Fan is on, there's where my temperature gauge is reading however, okay? So, gauge is off a little bit. I'll show you the fan is actually running. Then I'll show you the temperature is dropping. You hear the fan. Without an external mic, it's kind of hard because the fan is going to drown everything out. Here's my, my temperature now, down to 212. Fan's still on, okay, she's pulling the temperature down. 
it's blowing very hot out of that fan, which is right. 208, there's the fan going off, 206. So we have no issue with this vehicle, okay? So, know your enemy, right? Like always, uh, know your system, know how they work, know what to expect. I'll show you where the gauge is now. That's at 206 degrees, okay? So, or 203 degrees, actually. Um, what you want to do is know how the system works, know what the specs are, when the fan should come on. Be aware the gauges can give you false information on the vehicle, um, especially on these GMs. So, what I'm going to recommend is that he changes the hoses on here, and um, we'll see where he wants to go from there. And that's it. And I'm going to fix that that collapsed vacuum line as well. So that's it. Um, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.